Hey guys, so are you looking for book discounts and deals? Things that you can actually use in your home or your school classroom or maybe the families that you serve in your community? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you places where you can find great book deals, no subscription, no membership, and all that good stuff coming to you right now. So I want to welcome you to the Brown Bear Book Club. We offer resources to parents, teachers, educators, anyone who works with young children. My name is Brianna. I worked in the early childhood field outside of the home. Now I work right here in the home. Let's get right into some deals, discounts, and freebies. Okay, so the first website I want to tell you about is called kidsbooks.com. Now this website is super unique because not only does it offer bargain books, but they offer books like classic books, like, you know, Eric Carl books or famous or, uh, children author type of books and so much more. And I recently went to their website and I was looking for just any book that grabbed my attention. We're, we're getting ready to do a bug uh, theme here in our home and online. And so I saw the grouchy ladybug. And what I found was that book was only like $3.99 and there was all type of discounts and markdowns. So this is a website you want to keep in your toolbox. All right. So our next teaching tool is bookbomb.com or bookbub, excuse me, bookbub.com. This, this website offers some free e-books and lots of other printable hardback books as well. One of the things that caught my attention again is as we're in the springtime, I'm looking for spring themed books. I saw that they had a free e-book download. All I had to do was sign up totally free and get the free ebook. And if you are liking this content so far, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Right. Our next teaching tool is christianbooks.com. If you are a faith-based teacher or a parent who loves teaching the word of God, christianbooks.com has lots of um of, of books that are discounted, has all types of deals. I was actually searching and looking at it this morning. Um, one of my favorite books, which is I Can Only Imagine, they have it marked down right now for $2.99. Take a look at this. So our next one that we have here is thriftbooks.com. Thrift books, shopping thrifty is so much fun. And let me tell you, Thrift Books, one thing I love about them is they have a good shipping rate and they let you know if the book is in good condition or if it's acceptable. Um, the times that I've bought, bought books there, it has been in great condition. Um, I've gotten um, a good shipping cost. Most of my shipping is usually like under two bucks. Um, I think the last time I bought there was like 99 cents. So this is a great place to shop, has a variety of books. Um, from academic base to spiritual base, whatever you like, but take a look at thrift books. Not only with shopping thrifty, in your local area, in your local community, you can find lots and lots of books. There's a secondhand store that I love to shop at here near where I live, where you can get five books for only one dollar. So check out secondhand stores as well. All right, guys. So we have um our next couple of uh, teaching tools is for educators. That is right, guys. If you are a homeschooling parent or a home or a teacher in a, a school building or child care center, you want to check out Scholastics or Barnes and Noble. Scholastics, Scholastic is a classical one. You've heard about it. They have all type of deals you can do in your classroom. Barnes and Noble has discounts like 20% off. Scholastic also has $1 deals that you do not want to miss. Um, and last, if you want to check out any of these links, make sure you look in the description box below. But I want to make sure I share with you this super duper strategy. If you are an educator or um, a parent, this is a super strategy that you can use throughout the year to get books for your home or your school classroom. The first thing is um, wish lists or registries. 
So before you begin a lesson or you're switching themes, consider doing a wish list um, where you can distribute to your parents and get parents involved. They can come in and read to the children or donate books that they have or they want to pass down from older siblings. I used to get those all the time in my preschool classroom. Or if you're a parent um, during Christmas time, birthdays, anytime someone says, what does your child need? You can say, well, they really are into this, these type of books. And those are great gifts. Question of the day, where do you get your books from? Let me know in the chat. Let's talk about it. Do you use a subscription? Do you not use a subscription? Um, let's talk about the books that you, where you get your books from. Make sure that you join me next week for another Teaching Tool Thursday. Next week, and right now it is springtime, but you can watch this video anywhere. But next week's Teaching Tool is gonna cover as you're going through your old books and getting new books and you have ripped pages, we're gonna talk about what you can do creatively with all those ripped and broken books as we do some spring cleaning um, with our books. We also are gonna get into, with the spring cleaning series, we're gonna get into how to organize your books. What are some best strategies? So I am super excited for the spring. Make sure you check out the, um, if you're looking for instructional tools, I have the Hello, string e Hello Spring eBook posted above for your young children to enjoy. I hope that you enjoy it as well. You can download it, go to the video, go ahead and check it out. Um, but that's all I have for you today. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye.